All right, today I'm going to talk about the 511 Tactical Series 36 inch gun case, which I'm not sure if it's built in collaboration with VTAC, but uh, it does basically have VTAC on the uh, on the tag as well as on this uh, that's actually a, a sticker so I'm assuming this is some sort of collaboration I'll zoom in on that later anyway since I can't get the full 36 inch case in frame here um, I'm going to um, you know just pan from left to right. I picked this up from Optics Planet um, which is a good source for many uh, tactical accessories. I got this using a coupon code. I believe the normal price on this is $96. I used a $25 off coupon code which also gave me free shipping so the end price on this was seventy dollars and ninety nine cents which was very reasonable for this particular type of case if you do plan on buying anything from Optics Planet or Brownells or, or any of those other um, resellers definitely do a search for coupons because um, there's always seems to be coupons floating around out there that can save you you get your free shipping or get you twenty twenty five dollars off. It's worth the effort in my opinion so um five eleven has this in several sizes. This is the thirty six inch size uh in black, and as you can see from left to right. We have molly webbing over here for attachment of pouches. You also have uh, Velcro here for attachments of morale patches or it you know, fits a flag pretty good if you want to stick a flag on there. This center compartment right here, there also, there is I'm sure you could use this for something. Um, there is webbing of some sort on here. Um, you could probably stick long items through here pretty easily. Um, it's part of the Sonin compression strap system. This appears to be some sort of an area to write on. I guess if you wanted to write something on there. I don't know much about it, but uh, I believe that's what it's for. This particular um, compartment, obviously there's compression straps here that can be tightened and loosened. We'll have pull strings on the zippers. And the zippers are YKK zippers as well. Now the nylon from my understanding, uh, the nylon is a 1050 DWR nylon. I don't know much about that. Um, but that's supposedly what it's made out of. This is the inside of the compartment um, with additional molly inside of here for attachment of pouches. And this unsnaps and you can actually put items down in here, I don't know, you know, paperwork, handguns, um, and also this area has Velcro on it, and there is some foam inside of here, as you can see, make out a little bit, there's, some, there's a foam piece in here. I'm not sure if this area is just to hold the foam or if it's for storing I guess if it wasn't for storing they would have just sewn it shut but it does have velcro on it and, you know you can put something in there if you so need to
511 logo right there sewn on and over here is another patch of molly webbing and more velcro the velcro is suitable if you want to put a name tape on it I don't have any name tapes in black all my stuff's um, ACU digital um, that's more or less the front of this um, the carry straps, the compression straps, everything is sewn uh, in um, high quality from what I can tell. The I'm trying to think if there's anything else I missed. Um, all of this hardware is, some, is uh, something Duraflex hardware. Um, it's not um, the cheap plastic stuff. Um, this is the more durable stuff from what I understand. You have a carry, I think I should remove that and get it out of the way. So we have the carry handle here, which is another Velcro little grab handle, so to speak. It also comes with a um, a shoulder strap. Um, the inside of the shoulder strap. This has got some anti serious anti skid material on it, so I don't think it would be sliding off of your shoulder. Not a lot of padding in this, but suitable for its purpose. Um, these ends are plastic. Um, they have a metal clip on them, they swivel, I don't, uh, don't know how, what kind of longevity you could expect to get out of these. Uh, I'm assuming it, they use the same type of high quality uh, plastic as they do on the other um, connectors. So it does come with this. I'll go ahead and flip it over and we'll take a look at the uh, at the rear. All right, so here's the back side. Um, you can see that these compression straps and these uh, the carry straps uh, are sewn all the way through the case. We have the same type of uh, looping on the back, so you could, in theory, run something through there. These are the connection points for the um, shoulder strap, uh, again plastic. Uh, up over in this area is more velcro for a uh, morale patch. Um, this is a bigger velcro area. It's larger than the one on the front. The one on the front appears to be specifically for flag. This one is about three inches by three inches and there's velcro around the out, outer edge and then there's smaller section in the center so I'm assuming that's for uh, morale patches whatever else you want to put there and over on this other end uh, there's a, a plastic window right there which is, I believe is for business cards or an ID badge or whatever you want to fit in there. Business cards appear to fit in there and it's got clear plastic on it. So that's kind of a once over on the outside of it. And we'll progress on to the inside. Alright, here's the uh, 511 tactical bag opened up. You can see we've got these locations here with these Velcro, Velcro strips. The bag comes with four sets of Velcro strips. I've already played around with this a little bit and I've taken two of the Velcro strips off. 
this is advertised as being capable of holding two rifles. I guess you could possibly fit two in here. Um, the outer edge of this has got, I believe it's 20 millimeter padding that goes all the way around the outer edge. And you have these pockets right here which are also padded. Um, probably somewhere right around the same thickness, 20 millimeters or so. So you can tuck your butt, your, uh, the butt of your rifle here and the um, uh, end of your uh, rifle barrel up underneath there and use these velcro straps to strap it down. We also have an ample amount of padding here um, probably 30-40 millimeters hard I, I don't know exactly but uh, lots of padding on both sides as well as this edging padding. I've noticed that this this edging padding uh, kind of keeps the the shape of the carry bag uh, helps keep it hold it it helps hold the shape of the bag so the bag doesn't flop around or compress on you if that makes sense I haven't used this a lot since obviously you can tell it's it's new I just got it and just removed the tags on camera so I have done a little bit of test fitting to excuse the squeakiness of my squeakiness of my tripod stand. Unfortunately I have to move the camera around so we can get the whole and I don't have much more to add about the inside um, at this point, but uh, I'll show you what, what uh, my M4 looks like when it's inside the bag here. Okay, you can see um, I've got my M4 in here and I actually have it, you can put it in here with a magazine if, if you desire. Um, even with a magazine I've got plenty of clearance for an optic. I don't have an optic on here yet, but you can see there's, there's definitely plenty of clearance. Um, I only have the need for these two pieces of Velcro right here, which are sufficient to Velcro the rifle in place. Um, no, no issues here. This this is a 16 inch, 16 inch barrel with the uh, flash hider on it. Uh, stock is collapsed. Doesn't necessarily need to be with stock collapsed it's about right to there so I could actually go out a little bit longer if I needed to um, so same with the uh, uh, barrel length over there I've got plenty of clearance over there for the barrel um, I'm going to carry my rifle like this with uh, optics up top just in the event that if I am carrying the bag and I do drop it um, the optics are not going to hit the ground um, I will probably actually carry it with an empty magazine like this and the magazine will be the buffer. Um, the bag's got plenty of, of uh, padding in it but I don't mind, I don't mind sacrificing the magazine uh, just for, for uh, an added uh, uh, protection against the rifle. Um, if I had to if I had to express any gripes at this point I would say um, the molly is great but now I need to buy black molly pouches for this uh, to carry additional accessories uh, it would be nice if these if this came with some some sort of uh, pouches especially this inner compartment here um, I, I don't see the logic in these 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 flat panels. Um, I like the Molly here, but I would prefer these were pockets, Velcroed or zippered pockets, so I can put small items in here. I mean, this this area is open and this area is open. Um, I'm not just not exactly sure what 
what the thought process was behind behind this was. I mean, it is padded, um, and it does have molly, so you can put more pouches in here too. But again, I'm I'm going to use this for carrying magazines, so I've got to buy more molly pouches for the magazines. Now I've seen other people just fill this area with their magazines, and you could definitely do that. And of course, we have this kind of velcroed area right in here which you could probably fill with magazines as well uh, if you want them all kind of flopping around that's probably really my only gripe with this is it just doesn't come with any pouches plenty of expandability via the molly but uh, um, no pockets no no pouches of any sort um, it would be a better value if they 511 included some AR mag pouches with this couple but uh, you know for the money um, you know you can't I don't think you can go wrong for $70 this is a, a very good quality bag from what I've seen so far um, $70 I, I feel is a good price for this um, I don't think I have anything else to add uh, to this at this point um, after I, I get some use in on it, I'll probably report back and I'll update everyone if I've got a change of mind or if things start falling apart.